All right, so let's get back to it. So all fueled up and good to go, I think. Just kind of checking the time and started a bit later than I wanted, and it, this week has been a bit busier than I would like, so I think I'm just going to do a small part, and we won't finish this today, but I do think we can get pretty far on it, so let's just kind of keep plugging away at it. So we got this. Uh, we got the back end done. Let's just pop those over to the other side. Cool, cool. I could probably, honestly, I should be able to just make this wider. Oh, I already did that too. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, <coughs> I already made those shorter, so don't need that anymore. Uh, I still kind of need those, I guess. And we'll just kind of move them into the center here, so they're out of the way. Okay, good. Good. My microphone's still coming through. I noticed when I was doing the editing for the first stream, uh, my microphone was kind of quiet. Um, I bumped up the volume in Premiere, so hopefully that'll help, and that'll be enough to kind of keep it audible. Um, if that remains, if that's still a problem, I'll have to look into something else to fix that up for you guys. Um, long term, I'd like to just upgrade the equipment, get a better microphone than this gaming headset that I can actually, you know, hear out of, because these, these headphones, they just kind of, they're not noise cancelling, but they're they very much dull the noise, which makes it actually kind of hard to talk. <coughs> it just feels weird. Kind of like using one of those um, voice canceller things, so not quite. Pretty much without the hearing your own voice, it's hard to judge it and kind of judge the feedback you're, you know, man. Look at badness. Without any feedback, it's hard to judge. So when you can't hear your own voice, it's hard to know that you're saying things right, and you're just kind of going on instinct. But uh, that's a later problem. So I'll probably go for another half hour, forty minutes to go with the longer part one that we had today. So. Because I'm honestly just kind of well, yeah. Like I said before, I'm just busy. Like it's been a busy week. I've pretty much had something to deal with every day of the week on top of work. So it's kept me kind of here, there, and everywhere. Um, and this weekend is no different. Today I was at my parents for a while. Tomorrow I'm going to be in town. Monday I've don't really have anything planned, but I do have work, so I can't do anything really weird. And then it's back to the regular work week of two shifts a day, so... Yeah. Not much, not as much time as I'd like. I wonder, can I just... Hmm. I like that idea. Okay, so, here's what we're gonna do. Got an idea for front legs that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to match translation. Let's move center to bounding box. Oh, but that's still kind of messed up too. Shoot! Alright, time to fix it. Fix it. Mm. Oh. There. <coughs> That's much better. And then we kind of bring that out. Then we grab the faces on the outside and just kind of blip. Expand those out to where we want them. And then, although I, I might do this a little bit differently in the long run for now, we're just going to pull this out. There. 
So now we're pivoting around here. So now I am actually going to get rid of this one. Don't need it anymore because this is going to be replacing it. And now the question is actually, I kind of want this one to be shorter then, don't I? I mean, yeah, it's. don't really need it as much. So I can bring this all the way back here. Okay, yeah, that pans out a bit better. It means I will need to kind of pull this, pull this in a little bit. Oh, and we are clipping here. Um, Oh, this is because I messed this up actually. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, so now, so now here's kind of like the front shield I had going before. We'll just bring this up, bring these up. Probably not that high actually, because I don't want to don't want to clip into my missile pods here when they're all the way down, and that's already doing it by a lot. So we'll bring that down to there, bring this out, and then bring the whole thing down. Yeah, that's good enough. Just add a light bevel over there, make it a little bit bigger there. A bit of mistakes. So I'll just do the top for now. You know, now when I'm actually looking at this, I don't think I like it as much anymore. <sighs> that's, you know, that's kind of like the problem I was saying last, the, well, my first stream, which I don't think anyone saw, is that with just the way I do design things, it's very ir irritative. I'm not sure if that's how you actually pronounce that, but I'm making lots of small changes over time to arrive at something I like. And that's great for that's great for ending up with something you really like, but it's a bumpier road along the way compared to having something nicely planned out and fully conceived beforehand. So some good, some bad. All you can do is take what you can get, right? And I do really believe that, although it is the bumpier road to get somewhere, I do think that if you really keep in mind what you need and what you're looking for, you can end up with something that's kind of better than some of its parts. Sure, it would have taken you longer to do, but by the time you're done, there's nothing more to be done. There's no unless something, you know, fundamental beyond simply the design changes, there's nothing more to add. Mm, at least that's the hope. Doesn't always work out that well, unfortunately. <laughs> was weird. Must have been something to do with that edge I tried to pull out and then ended up deleting, but I guess it didn't actually delete. 
How shameful. And we'll just clean this up a little bit while we're here. Really big and open. Oh, and no, I'll leave that till later. So yeah, see, this is actually becoming much of a wider stance than I had initially planned. It's not necessarily bad in of itself, but uh, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to go through and because you can kind of see here. Oops, there's kind of like this gap between the center of the body and where the legs are. If I just kind of bring that gap closer, it should seal things up nicely. Now, I was also thinking that, that I want... See, subtle angles like this are bad, because they don't print well. But it would give me a nice little joint in the leg there, which probably would look nice. It's, it's it's kinda hit and miss sometimes what looks good and what doesn't with the printer. Cause like the proxy core units like the big tyrant and the pathfinder, I make the kind of the proxy scale sized ones, which are fifth about five centimeters tall or about two inches, give or take. And I also make a smaller thirty or a three centimeter scale, which is about just over an inch. And they both, and with the especially with these models, I try and give them more natural poses. So the knees are slightly bent, the arms are kind of angled in crazy ways, the shoulders are bent, even the torso can be tilted forward. And they print out pretty nicely on even in the smaller scale. But other times, like when I'm printing for like the actual units, which are even a bit smaller than the th uh, 30, the three, three centimeter versions of the proxy core units. Sometimes on the front, and I had unknowingly left the plow angled slightly, like just a few degrees, like enough that you could kind of see it was angled, but not enough to really give it a slope. And when I got the prints in. You could see the print lines. It had like four lines going across the plow, slowly get higher and higher, and that was because of that slight angle. And that kind of like it didn't ruin the print, but it was really noticeable. So I'm always a little kind of on edge about doing stuff like that. I think I'll leave it just hinged like this for now. I think what I'll do is I need, oops. Another one like that there. Pull that out. And actually... Bam! Bam! This is starting to come together slowly, ever so slowly. <laughs> Shoot. And hopefully, for the next stream on Wednesday, if all goes according to plan, which I hope it does, uh, I should hopefully have some sort of music here because I do not know what I need to, or like the ins and outs of all this yet, so it's something I'm still looking, need to look into and figure out. But it is it is on the docket, so hopefully next time there'll be something to help break things up. In the meantime, you know, feel free to use your own music. I mean, there's not much to listen to because it's just me. So hopefully, as things goes on and we actually get some stream viewers, I can actually, you know, do some Q and A through the chat, which I try and keep an eye on. But until then, you know, this is what we got, so it's what we're working with. 
but I don't mind. It's it's just one of those things where you have to accept the fact that it's going to take time, and people will find their way to me eventually. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna make sure I. I mean, like. Okay, so pretty much one of the things that I've kind of going on so far for 2016 is it's going to be the year of quote-unquote getting shit done, and so far it's actually worked pretty well for that. I've started streaming, as you're aware. That was something I wanted to do for a while, but I just never really got around to it. But now I've done it, and it's not so bad. <laughs> I'm, I mean, like, I'm pretty bad, but the actual... I guess I was always possibly put off by the amount of work, and I had tried to do some streaming type stuff before, uh, mostly just to, while I was working on game mods and stuff to share with the team is, if we were having a discussion, I would just kind of throw, throw up a stream and then just start modeling something, and let them kind of see it and comment on it, and that was nice, but it's, so yeah, it's not something I've done a lot of, but now it's, you know, of course, you know, once you start doing it, it's like, oh, this ain't so bad. It's mostly just kind of overcoming my own issues. And then hopefully as I kind of get settled in, I'll, like I, like I said before, I want to do some Spree Commander. Um, if I figure out a bit of Darkest Dungeons, I might do a bit of that, seeing as it's still kind of new and might actually help get me some viewers. I'm not sure, though. I'm... I don't know, like it, I'm not sure I'll have enough to actually talk about for that, so we'll see. Um, so, so yeah, obviously you started streaming, good, fun, yeah. Um, other things I'm going to be... wait, how did I get to here? What was my segue? Oh, god damn it, I'm such bad at this. In English. Oh, right, okay, so, yeah, so, getting shit done, um, so, you know, one of the big ones was the streaming, which, you know, I've started, and now it's just gonna be maintaining that twice a week, but another part of it is, um, my Shapeway shop, which I mentioned before, and that will probably kind of, you know, I'll bring up again at the, eh, no, I'll just bring it up now, but basically, like, I did pretty well, like, all things considered for coming into it with no, with pretty much doing just my own designs. I think I did pretty good for the first year, especially considering like in the last, the uh, like second half of it, I didn't really do much with it. I still got a few sales, but this year I want to kind of change that. And one of the biggest things is, I mean, aside from new products, but I've actually got a bunch of products that I have that I haven't taken proper pictures of yet, which means naturally that I don't have them listed on my shop so I need to honestly just kind of do a bit of that because that's I mean that's just kind of the way I do it is I don't put something I don't list anything unless it's been unless I've ordered it because although I'm fairly confident in my knowledge of the printing process you guys might not be and that's perfectly legitimate because Honestly, 3D printing's kind of weird, and, you know, I've put in the time to figure it out, but I can't just say, well, I know what I'm doing, so you guys have to trust me, because, you know, that doesn't fly, that's not fair to you guys, and it's just kind of a real, kind of, it's just not a good thing to do. So, that's why I make sure the things are, the things work before I sell them. But that does mean that I pretty much need to, you know, front the money for designs first, and it means that if it doesn't work, that not only that I spend money on essentially a bad print, woo for me, I can probably still salvage it some way, but, so not only that, but that means I have to, you know, fix it and then get it printed again. If it's a minor change, like what happened with the basilisk and some of the pistons being messed up, I'll just use pictures from the first one and then fix it right away. And, you know, and, I mean, that's the thing, like, if anyone asks, you know, I'll be upfront about it, but I, I feel that when the rest of the print turned out perfectly, except for the one part that I just didn't position correctly, I figure if I fix that, it'll be good. So, I use the same pictures, and 
I do, and I did re end up reordering it, so I've got actually two sets of my basilisk, <laughs> one with broken pistons and one without. So I need, but so outside, so obviously you know I've got to get pictures of all the new stuff and get that posted. Um, I am working on a project involving spaceships. Um, I don't think it'll show up on here. I'm almost kind of done with the first major phase of that project, so that's like nothing's really be going on much for that on this channel. Um, I will probably mention them once they're all said and done. It's just a case of I need to actually just front the money to get the rest of them printed and then make sure they work and then I need to at least paint a few of them so that way the pictures actually look decent instead of just being of a translucent material where you can't see any details. Like I've actually got one that I just brushed some uh, Vallejo primer on and it looks much better. <laughs> just being able to actually see all the details. Unfortunately the brush primer didn't work as well as I'd like. It is kind of like uneven because you know you're putting it on from brush that's just kind of how it's going to go and you need a few coats to really build up a good base coat. So it kind of doesn't work out in the long run. Um, what I want to do is kind of dust off my airbrush and hike that out to my parents place where I can safely airbrush instead of my tiny, not-quite-studio apartment apartment. So, got to do that. And I'll probably be sharing the finished project, the finished product with, on here at some point, but I won't be doing that until, you know, it's done, so that's probably still at least a month or two off. But, yeah, like, I'm gonna really try and push the Shapeway stuff because... and you know, it's essentially just this, even this stream, just working on this design is part of that. It's giving me something to say, hey, I need to do this because look, I've got this thing sitting here and if it just sits here, it's not doing me any good. So I need to get it out there. But, you know, it's all a process. Everything takes time. I just got to take it easy and make sure I allocate my time correctly. <coughs> what else is there? What else did I want to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not too much of note. I mean, I mean, painting's definitely been one of them, and like I said before, I have been actually doing quite a bit of painting last week. I think... how much did I actually end up painting it was? Uh, let's see, I got five... yeah, I did five tanks, six tanks, and I've got one more halfway done, and then a few more primed ready to go. Although I think this week I'm going to focus mostly on 40k stuff because I unfortunately, as I said before, I was busy so I didn't get a chance to play this weekend. Which kind of sucks because it's already been now two weeks since I last played, which is more longer than I'd like it to be, but it is what it is, so I'm just going to have to push for... to get some... push for... hope for next weekend and um, I just want to get some stuff done because I actually got a combined Christmas birthday gift for my game for my 40k buddy and he built a new squad so I want to bring something new next time I play him too just to you know because I know he's gonna try and fuck me up so I want to I want to be on the other side of that <laughs> naturally stupid space wolves space puppies that is be horn dreadnought But yeah, I'm still going to try and fit in at least a couple tanks. I've got right now, I think, kind of just waiting to be painted on the... In my painting stand, I got a Hellfire. What was the other one? Oh, hold on, let me just roll over there. That's the nice thing about having a hardwood floor. It's easy to roll around the room. A Hellfire, a Sledgehammer Artillery, the last Sprinter, 
and a Inferno, which is actually one of my favorite designs, because that's a holdover from Black Ops. Well, it's not a holdover, I redesigned it for printing, but it's something I like. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking at this lower leg and it's starting to really bug me. How can I fix this? I know. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I like this. Yes, yes, I think I like this better. Or rather, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this better. Yes, 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 I'm... I am honestly liking this quite a bit already. I just realized my upstairs neighbor has that classic no 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 thing for a ringtone or text tone or something. Which is funny. Um, let's just get rid of, oh that's not a word. Let's save just in case. Remember, always save. Always. And if your program has an autosave feature in it, somewhere inside of it, you should probably enable it and then be thankful sometime down the road. Because, oh man, especially, like, I've noticed a lot recently that when I go back to old, like, older files, like if I want to, like I did with the Basilisk and Goliath, if I want to revamp something for printing, I usually need to use the old file as a base. And sometimes the old file's just broken. <laughs> and so you have to figure something else out. Or just kind of try and remember what you did. And like it'll be like the mesh will be just like all messed up. Uh, there'll be lots of tearing and faces will be ripped off and merged to weird places. And so sometimes, and you know, it's one thing when you're opening an old file, but you still kind of have to be aware of that even just when you're working with a new file like this because if it breaks it breaks and there's nothing you can really do about it so it's much better to be prepared for something like that than to be caught unawares and that's kind of a problem let's move this up <coughs> Okay, yeah, 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 I'm liking this. And then we just bring this out. There. And now it's kind of like what I wanted to do, but without being obnoxious about it. <laughs> See, now it's like a knee pad. Except it doesn't look stupid like the other one I had. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I do like that. How long have we been going? Uh, pretty long, actually. Okay, I tell you what, I am going to. Yeah, we had the long first part, so I think I'll just call this one here. Not as not as long running as I had hoped. I think I still. I think it's. I mean, like I said, I've been busy this week, and honestly, I don't think I'm really ready yet for, you know, doing like a four-hour stream kind of alone, essentially, yet. Because my throat's already kind of, uh, and even though I've been drinking water, it's just, <laughs> this much talking is just not something I used to. And there's no music, and it's kind of boring for you guys to some degree, so 
yeah, I think we're, we'll call it here. I think, regardless, we still made, well, I still made some good progress. We got the back legs done, and with how much I hate legs, the fact that it's done and I'm okay with it, A+, plus, you know, victory achieved, achievement unlocked. And the front leg, I'm still, I'm not sure how much I like some parts of it, but I think it's kind of like on the right path, so I think if I come back to it on Wednesday, it'll be like, oh yeah, I can do this instead, and then it'll be just, you know, perfect. So, alright, let's save. Alright, so, yep, thank you guys for, well, no one showed up for the stream, unfortunately, but thanks for you guys for watching it, and especially if you stuck around to this point, you've, A plus, man, you guys did a lot, you guys can, you guys can stand the shit, so, hopefully it'll get, it'll just keep getting better, right, so, in a few weeks it should be great, I hope. Alright, so I will see you guys on Wednesday at 11 a.m. PST. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Had to double check my head there, but we're all good. Hope okay. I'm, I'm not gonna say we're gonna finish it on Wednesday because Wednesday I definitely do short streams because it's right between my work shifts. But I think I think we'll get to the point where we can do where on where in a week next Saturday um, we will be doing our final detail pass and doing final cleanup and making sure all the all the joints are set up properly and then double checking it for all the printing requirements and then just laughing because we'll be done so you know it'll take a bit longer to get there but it should be good I'm hoping um, I think what I might do next time is on Saturday is I might start with the first segment and talking more about proxy war and kind of the setting and the methodology I'm using for it I guess you could say so we'll so that should eat a bit of time, and then we'll get to the modeling and all that fun stuff. So, all right. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday, and until then, just you know, play it cool. See ya.